Hello friends. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss the condition when exactly one root lies between interval p and q. Then how to define the condition? Suppose the quadratic equation a x square plus b x plus c plus a zero having root alpha and beta. So first case when a is greater than zero, what we can see? Say for one root is alpha, another root is beta. So we are taking a point here and here. Let this is A and this point is A. So what we can see that if A is greater than 0 and if B is less than 0. Here also we see that this is A and this is B. So in this case, what we are finding that if A is less than 0. Why in case 2, if I take roots alpha and here beta, and if I say A here and B here, so we can see that F A is less than 0 and F B is less than 0. If I take here A and here B, then we can see that F A is greater than 0 and F B is less than 0. So what we are finding in these two that somewhere fa is positive, fb is negative, yeah, somewhere fa is negative and fb is positive. So these are the four required conditions. So we are going to sum up that if fa and fb is less than 0, it means fa and fb is less than or equal to 0, it means exactly one root lies between a and b. R we can replace a by b and b by q. So we can take the condition that fp into fq is less than 0. Now second condition that of course roots must be uh, real and distinct. The roots must be real and distinct. Then only it is possible. So exactly for exactly one root I will be these are the two conditions. First condition is fp into fp to be less than 0 and d, which means discriminant must be less than 0. So uh, we are going to discuss one example just to understand it uh, in a very clear way. So the example is find m if exactly one root, one root of equation f square minus 2mx plus m square minus 1 to 0 lies in interval minus 2 comma 4. So for uh, solving this kind of equation, what we are taking, we are uh, first of all finding out d greater than zero. First condition. So in this case, we can see that a is one, b is minus two m, and c is m square minus. M. So it is a uh, b square minus four ac should be greater than zero. So we are just rubbing it. b square minus 4ac should be greater than b square means 4m square minus 4a and c m square minus 1 greater than 0. So 4 we are taking out. So m square minus m square plus 1 greater than 0. So 1 is greater than 0. It means for all the values of m this is taking place. For second one f of minus 2 and f of 4 should be less than 0. Then what is fx? Effect is nothing but the quadratic equation itself. Fx plus m square minus. So we are putting minus 2 here. So it is 4 plus 4m plus m square minus 1. So minus minus 8m plus m square minus 1 less than 0. m square plus 4m plus 3. And it is m square minus 8m plus 15 is less than 0. So we can just factorize it. m plus 1, m plus 3, and 
this m minus t m minus i by t so we are using the uh, wavy parameter to find out minus t minus 1 t by if it is finite minus infinite so you know that our wavy parameter is like this and what we have to find out the negative portion less than 0 so m will lie between minus t to minus 1 giving us so this equation will have exactly one loop lies between minus 2 to 4 when m lies from minus 3 to minus 1 to minus 3 to minus 1. So uh, that's all in this video. The rest will discuss in the next video. Thank you.